Happy Pride everyone! Hi everyone, welcome back to Cafe Scotty. Well, here's my old camera, digital camera I used to use many years ago, like back in, until back in 2009 or so. Well, it looked like this. I used to use this digital camera all the time, back in the time, like, like back in 2006 or so. So when I was in Auburn, in California, back in spring 2004, actually uh, the show Friends was almost ending. So well, I had to get this because I'm a huge fan of this show and I'm a huge fan of Jennifer Aniston. So I really had to get this at the grocery store. I still keep this. Well, so it's a good way to remember California, and uh, well, this show was really amazing, as you know. And uh, like another one, I also had to get this one too, as I'm a huge fan of Friends and Jennifer Aniston. And uh, here's another magazine, I mean People magazine, uh, I got in California back in 2004 while I was there, uh, because I'm a huge fan of Friends, so I had to get this. So when I was in a relationship with an American guy from uh, Oregon back in 2006, uh, well, uh, he brought me this from the United States when he he stayed visited me here and stayed here with me. So well, it was really sweet of him to give me something like this. Well, and uh, here's another magazine as you can see. Uh, this one was also uh, present from my ex-boyfriend back in. 2006, uh, he brought this here from the United States uh, as he knew I was a huge fan of Harry Koniko Jr. So even through its uh, magazine for women, still he got me this because I'm a huge fan of Harry Koniko Jr. And as you can see here, it's People Magazine's issue uh, about uh, Rance Vest coming out uh, officially by this magazine and uh, well, it was back in 2006, I believe, and uh, he gave me a lot of power and hope by his coming out story articles. So I was really thankful for that, and uh, I really had to get this, so I'm still uh, keeping this. I really love this a lot. And uh, here's another Jennifer Aniston magazine uh, I got even through its uh, magazine for women because I'm a huge fan of her, so I had to get it back in 2005 or 2006, uh, somewhere, something around like that. And uh, well, I still keep it. She's such a wonderful and amazing actress, and of course, very pretty always. Well, it looks great, uh, kind of Italian. So we are gonna have dinner while uh, we are gonna listen to the David Foster album. Well, it looks like this, uh, very yummy. Well, so we watched an episode of the Queer's Fox season 2, which was good. And uh, before that, uh, we watched a little part of uh, the mostly unpopular social life of a green movie, as like I said, and uh, well, I'm gonna think of what I'm gonna do the rest of the night. So earlier today, uh, I folded it randomly, then we had dinner, and uh, then I did the dishes, then I cleaned the shower room, including bathtub. Then, like I said, uh, we had a little TV time, so I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do the rest of the night. And uh, here's another one my ex-boyfriend from back in 2006 gave it to me uh, when he was visiting here to spend time with me. And uh, another Jennifer Aniston magazine I got back in 2006 or something like that. Uh, well, I'm a huge fan, so I had to get it. So here's even another magazine about Jennifer Aniston, even through it's for women, uh, I still had to get it because I'm a huge fan of her. And uh, here's the GQ magazine uh, from the United States. Uh, it was about Jennifer Aniston, so of course I had to get it. I'm a huge fan of her, and uh, it was like back in 2005 or so. I got this at the Tower Record. 
And uh, back in 2006, I really had to get it because I like uh, Tom Hanks and his movies a lot. So when I found it, I had to get it at the Tower Records.